is Francis Paul. And I'm James Williams. We in Borjaja Maruga, I'm the Vice President of the Maruga 2050 Association for Sustainability. And so we are here today to launch the Maruga Shade House in collaboration with the Digicel Foundation. So this Shade House project is actually one that would see us producing nurseries for the community as well as for the Maruga Arboretum Project. The Arboretum Project is one of our flags, flagship projects where we're looking to plant some trees in the forest in terms of fruit trees. We want to protect the trees in the forest and we want to create ecotourism from the forest. In Maruga here we have the balsam, which, which very few folks know we had balsam. We have the fiddlewood. We have also the purple heart, Omora. We have crapo, tantakayo, cedar, mahogany. So there's a wide range of, of, of forests we have in the, in the Maruga area. What we're trying to do, even as the Shade House is part of the Arboretum project, is to engage the community so that they recognize that they are at one with nature. And if they work against nature, nature will work against them. And so what we're trying to do is to get people back into agriculture. Basically, the involvement in the project would have been the assistance of the space to actually fabricate the stands that were currently being used for this initiative. We would have also assisted in probably cutting the roadways and other stuff. But it's an initiative that I would have recognized that would be beneficial to the community. The way that the community is attempting youth outreach, there's a very educational aspect to this project, which I really appreciate personally as, as someone from an up and coming generation. I have no knowledge of all the trees and plants that they're talking about here. The way that they will reach the youth here is very important. We got really excited when we saw their application because number one, it was from Maruga. And in the six years of EPIC, we've never had a project in, Mar in Maruga or a partnership in Maruga. So it was really interesting. And then when we read the application form, it was a bit more intriguing. Uh, they had these huge plans of an arboretum. They talked about Moringa plants. They talked about creating a nursery and what they could do in terms of agriculture and food security for their community. Being the youngest one here, can really uh, try and be in the best of my power to bring the young people together to let them know the benefits of this program. 